Hey everybody, Coach Dan. Today, I hope you'll permit me to go on a little bit of a rant. I'm gonna talk about the worst, worst thing that ever happened to fitness. Stay tuned. All right, so if you've been watching TV at all recently, you might've seen a promo for The Biggest Loser. It's coming back. Now, if you'll permit me to go on a bit of a rant, The Biggest Loser is, well, a loser okay it's one of the worst things that ever happened to the fitness industry why because it created a bunch of misconceptions for people so um, if you've read in the past all and when the show was formally running which was you know in the early 2000s up till I think 2013 14 somewhere in there so it ran for a number of years their big thing was to get weight off people as fast as they possibly could and they did that by well not telling you the exact truth. What do I mean by that? Well, um, I, I have talked with contestants on The Biggest Loser, okay, one in particular, and she kind of filled me in on some of the stuff they do. But here's the thing: they 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 mislead you, all right. So you, for example, week one, you'll see weight losses of 15, 20. I remember in one case because I used to watch the show uh, because people would ask me about it. I remember one guy lost 37 pounds in the first week. Here's what they're not telling you. That week was not a week. It was about a month. That's right, folks. Week one is not a week. Seven days. It was a month. So if you watch very carefully, if you watch, they're very careful how they word it. They call it a TV week because it is week to week show. That's what they're getting away with. It is impossible for someone to lose 25, 30, 40 pounds in a week. There is no way you can physically do that. You would have to be in a calorie deficit in the hundreds of thousands. Impossible. So that's a misconception that to this day lives that, and I see people give up on their fitness journey because they think, hey, so-and-so on TV lost 25 pounds in a week. I only lost one and a half or two. There's something wrong with me. I give up. I quit. I've seen it time and time and time again. So here's another thing. So one of the things they used to do before those initial weigh-ins is they take the contestants out and feed them a lot of food. Sure, jump it up, feed them water and so on and so forth. I remember at one time watching, they were talking about water loading. People were drinking a gallon of water before the weigh-in. Well, pints a pound the world around, a gallon of water is about eight pounds. And so you drink that, step on the scale, shoot your weight up, get off it, go to the bathroom. Next week you weigh in, those eight pounds are gone. Hmm. Is that realistic? No. And that's the problem with the show. Some other things that I have a real issue with is the training. So back in the day it originally started, there was Bob Harper and Jillian Michaels. And frankly, no trainer, no reputable trainer would do what they did. I'm kind of okay with a lot of what Bob Harper did. Um, I think some of it was theatrics for TV because he had to do that. But I think in general, his philosophy wasn't too bad. Jillian Michaels, on the other hand, which was and I'm paraphrasing here, beat you till you puke, and if you're not passed out or dead, keep going. No reputable trainer would do that to anyone, especially as was the case here with someone who is morbidly obese, hundreds of pounds overweight. It is highly inappropriate. I happen to watch the trailer, or the promo, I guess, for the next one coming out. Now, now I don't know who these two new trainers are, uh, so I can't speak to their methods or anything about them. I frankly just don't know. But in the promo, they've got people running a mile, people who are hundreds of pounds overweight. They have no business running. It is too stressful on the joints. It, I could go for 20 minutes on just that. I saw them demonstrating people who, again, morbidly obese people doing box jumps, jumping three, four feet up in the air and hoping to land on a box. I say hoping because a lot of times, and they're not going to show you this, they were missing and getting hurt. There's a reason why they have EMTs standing off to the side. No trainer would ever, ever do that to a client. Unfortunately, it's led people to believe that that's what we trainers do. And it's very frustrating to us. Some other things, some other things that, that the biggest loser has caused. So you often saw, and these people would lose in the space of 12, 13, 14 weeks, couple hundred pounds. I, I know one instance, one guy lost 200 pounds in, in a three month period or so it seemed, um, at least three months on the show. But others, you know, it wasn't uncommon to see people lose 100 pounds. Well, 
all those contestants, they've been keeping an eye on. Right? None of them have actually kept the weight off. Very, very few have. In fact, if you go looking on the internet, you can find out most of them have not only just regained the weight, they've gained back even more. Worse, their metabolisms are now a mess. Because when you try and do that rapid weight loss, that you know, crash diet type style, it messes with your metabolism. Not just for the short term, but for life. So my point is this. The show's coming back out. I can't stop that. No one can. But if you do watch it, keep a jaundice eye on it. It is not reality. It is not realistic. It is not the way to go. I would never train anyone the way they train people on that show. I would never force them to crash diet, put them on less than 800 calories per day. That's what they were doing in some instances. That's not healthy. It's not about rapid weight loss. It never should be about rapid weight loss. You should be focusing on losing one to two pounds per week. That's it. 20, 25, 30, 40, it's not realistic. And even if you did hit that number in a week, it would be mostly water weight. So you drink a glass of water, you're gonna gain it all back. Now I'm gonna be honest, I'll probably go on a few rants about this show. I am gonna be watching as it goes along. And, and I really wanna expose it for what it is. And it, this is not me being a hater or trying to put any particular person down. But it's me trying to set the record straight that this is not reality. It never has been. It never will be. And I've seen it derail so many people who think because they can't achieve those impossible weight loss numbers in those time frames, there's something wrong with them. And unfortunately, not just the biggest loser, but the fitness industry in general is promoting this. You've probably heard it lose 20 pounds in two weeks. I know a certain TV doctor used to promote different things. Try this, the new miracle weight loss product. You'll lose 15, 20 pounds in week one. Those aren't reality, folks. One to two pounds a week is what you should be shooting for. The bottom line is this, folks. If you're trying to lose weight, your goal should be to lose one to two pounds on average per week. That means some weeks you might lose two pounds. Some weeks it may be only one. There may be some you lose three or four, maybe even five. There's going to be others where you don't lose anything or you might even gain some weight we are not robots we are human beings our bodies are going to go wherever they want to go and you can't outsmart your body it will happen if you stick with it over time focus on one to two pounds per week averaging that's it anything more than that the odds of you succeeding long term and keeping the weight off plummet all right if you like this video or if you didn't let us know. Put it in the comments. If you like the channel, hit the subscribe button. Ring the bell so you get notified when we post new videos. We've got plenty more videos coming up. We talk about diet and nutrition a lot. We talk about fitness. We give you a lot of information and all of it's free. All right, till next time, Coach Dan, have an awesome day.